This movie is all about relationships and the insecurities that grow when you're in a relationship. And I want to know if you could relate to any of those that your character had. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like I could relate to every single character's experience at some point in my life, you know, like from doing things to win somebody back and the lack of self-love that I had in that time where it was all based in whether that person liked or wanted me to mm -hmm. what I think my personal character's journey gets to, which is just like, she gets to a space where she realizes that she's been projecting a lot of her lack onto the partner versus taking accountability and being like, oh wait, I have to find this happiness. I can't find it in my partner. I've, I've gone through that too, you know? Yeah. and. It took me a while to release some of those conditionings or those, you know, responses because I wanted to be loved, you know? Yeah, we all just want to be loved, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, something that I loved about your character in this, this scene, right, where she's there in the threesome, they're about to, to do it. And you hear a lot about women who want to experiment threesomes, but then when the moment arrives, they may not feel 100% on board with it. What was it like to film a threesome scene, especially as a character that wasn't 100% on board with doing that, that felt uncomfortable doing that? You know, it was, there was like multiple level, levels of like uncomfortability because it was like, oh, I'm going to be a panty and bra. Okay, there's that. I'm like, that's going to happen. And then, and then it was the situation in itself where I was like, that we really didn't want it to come off as like creepy, right? Because you don't, you want to nail that tone in a way that is still comical, that you know nobody's like being pressured or, you know, nobody is doing anything against their will. So like that tone is so specific. And I was so proud of the director because he hit a really beautiful tone. But shooting it, once I got over my own conversation with myself, and like my sense of my love for my body, right? Once I got over that conversation, which was like a solo conversation, um, the actors yeah. made me feel so comfortable. I mean, Manny is incredible and Jenny is incredible and the director, Jason, is just out of control and I just love him so much. So I felt really comfortable doing something that was supposed to be super uncomfortable and so then it was super easy to go there. Versus That's it being like uncomfortable and then not liking the whole experience. It was really, really, really easy, actually. Really, really yeah. easy. Yeah. And I mean, you you looked very much in character in this character, very different from other characters that we've seen you in. Uh, so it was very refreshing. And at the beginning of the film, something that, that spoke to me a lot as a Latina is that at the beginning of the, the film, your character is at a family gathering with uh, Charlie Day, who's your boyfriend. And, uh, you know, he loves children. He's playing around with your nephew. And then I think it's your mother, your family member comes up to you. And, you know, as Latinas, we had this pressure growing up uh, to settle down and have families. But your character is still finding herself and is still sort of focused in her career and wants a bigger life for herself. So how can we create more characters that accurately portray, like realistically touch upon this struggle? Well, I mean, I feel like you definitely nailed it because I had that same pressure. I mean, I was 35 when I got married. My grandma legitimately would say to me, like, I'm going to die before you get married. And I'm actually always like, you might, grandma. So, like, can you please stop doing this to me? Like, because I didn't. I mean, she said that to me all the way up until I was literally married. But, um, but I was worried because I didn't find the person because I was on a track of wanting to learn about who I was and, and go after what I wanted in life and and make mistakes and not have to worry about somebody else having an opinion about that, you know? And so I think the more we're able to, like you said, portray women like this, and especially women that haven't, like Latinas, haven't necessarily always been able to be in these spaces where we get to defy our like cultural traditions and be like, see, there are other ways to do things. So it's always exciting to play a character. It's always exciting when you read a character and you you say to the writers like, oh, that's awesome. You made me like a person. You made me yeah. a person. You made me like a whole person, like a real person. <laughs> and you're letting me play it. Uh, that's awesome, you know? And so I think I'll try to do that as an actor, but then also as a producer, I'm trying to do that. Just expand yeah. the narratives, you know? Just start talking about new things. Yeah, and we all definitely want to see ourselves 
how we really are, not this perfect depiction or who we're supposed to be or these cookie cutter uh, sort of characters that don't speak to who we really are or make us feel uncomfortable with who we are. And yeah. speaking about your production company, you know, how are you looking to bring forward la more Latino stories with your production company now? Well, I will say that quite literally the majority of them are Latino led, Latinx led, written, Um, but we are doing stories across all communities that have been underrepresented. So from, you know, uh, South Asian stories, Southeast Asian stories to, you know, literally anything you can think of that um, you haven't heard of before, because I do believe that the greatest stories haven't been told yet. You know, like we are, we have so many more, we have so many incredible stories, we haven't even touched the surface of them. But as a producer, our company is trying to empower voices we haven't heard before and empower voices that um, it's a little bit more difficult to get into the industry, right? So like our industry is such a catch 22. You have to have the experience to get a job, but you have to get a job to have the experience. So you're just like, wait, how do I, if I have never done it before, but I want to do it, but you want me to have done it before, yet nobody will hire me because I've never done it before. Um, right. So really it's just about creating those opportunities about people that we see have the capabilities, have the talent and just need the pipeline. They just need help getting to the door or they just need help evolving in once they get in because you know, everything that is in our industry can be learned. But the more we support the stories that are out there, the more we're gonna get support from the industry to, to make more. So we all need right. to support, like, even if you're like, Puerto, I'm Puerto Rican, I literally watch every movie that has a Latinx, I don't care if it's from, yeah. you know, any culture I haven't, because I know that I, I personally, viscerally know support is the way we get more. That's just the only way we get more.